Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. This is part two of our four part video series of the Mega Constructs Power Packs. These are a series that are beloved by most people mainly for their awesome characters, good paint apps, and most importantly, the painted weapons. Unfortunately, this is the last one we're going to open that has painted weapons. After that, they are just gold and what, what, what is this? Just a black assault rifle? Come on, man. But this one in particular, I've been very excited about. This is the Vector Tactical Power Pack. And yesterday we opened the Active Camo Power Pack with Spartan Helio Skrill. He comes with a Pool of Radiance Fuel Rod Cannon. And inside this little Active Camo Pack is the Fade Magnum and the Gold Standard SMG with a Bayonet, Sight, and a little Active Camo Emblem. So a fantastic value for money piece. And I'm really excited to bust open another one of these half AC characters. Vector is a Spartan that I can't say I ever used in Halo 5 Guardians, but I still respect it. I do I do love all those kind of bubble visors that you see in EVA, security, the light, and it comes with some great weapons, particularly a gold sniper rifle. Now this set released Bless you. <laughs> now this set released during the 10th anniversary of Mega Constructs. They've been going for 10 years. Now I think they're on about 13. They've been absolutely crushing it year on year with their releases, innovating all the time. And I know the future is still bright for the company. So let's pop this out and see what it has in store for us today. We have a little bag hidden away with the actual power pack inside. And on the back, we can also see the green EOD, which is the one I'm really trying to get my hands on. And then whatever this black spot is and a blue CQC. And I also want to start this video by thanking you for all the support that pulled in yesterday. Uh, I mentioned in yesterday's video that I have been having a very hard time in uh, my personal life and the comment section was filled with positive reinforcement. I know you guys have my back, whatever the circumstance, and I'm really excited what 2022 holds for the domain and many, many other projects that I've got on the horizon. This also comes with the gold base plate. All of the 10th anniversary characters at the time came with gold base plates and gold weapons and they were really awesome like I really respected the whole 10th anniversary line especially the 10th anniversary blind bags and halo heroes one of my biggest regrets <laughs> over the last few years is not just buying 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 10th anniversary halo heroes like those things are just worth a fortune now so that's where I'm at yeah this is quite similar to the helio skrill layout we've got a lot of similar items we're gonna run through them one by one first of all this gorgeous Vector Spartan. Looks quite like Hermes as well. And the visor, it's so interestingly applied. Like, look at that line running on either side. At first, you would maybe think that was scratch damage, but then you realize it's part of the visor. And then you go a little further and realize it's actually 3D. Like, this is coming out slightly. It's bubbled out from the design, which I do respect. I love the molding here. And Mega Constructs, you know, they made a lot, a lot of Halo 5 Spartans, a lot of new molds. They really did actually invest a lot of money into that. And and I don't know, I think it was kind of fruitful, but at the same time, some molds just didn't get used enough. One of the classic canceled sets is the Warzone Battle Pack, where you got so many different Halo 5 Spartans, unfortunately just canceled before it even released. Uh, RIP, a really great titan of a set, and one that would have definitely closed off the Halo 5 Guardians line and led into the future, but also given Mega Constructs an opportunity to use all of their molds again. But either way, this is a Vector Spartan, and I believe it's one of the first vectors I've ever got my hands on. And I would also like you guys to comment down below saying, do you enjoy the camera setup of yesterday's video with an iPhone 13? And would you call it sort of like an angled face-up approach versus this top-down aerial view with a Fujifilm camera? Let me know which one you do prefer. I think there's pros and cons for both. But I got a really beautiful camera setup here in my new apartment and a lot of flexibility to record. So it's, uh, it's actually a lot easier than using the iPhone 13 right now. This vector is half translucent and I really do like the idea of half translucent figures. Like when you activate a power up or even an active camo module in the game, it's like a slow transition. There's a really cool sound effect in Halo Infinite, like as you sort of like slowly adapt the new coating. So obviously there's a, a moment before you go full AC that you are like this. You've got sort of an exposed undersuit and you can still see the color of your armor. So I assume with this power pack, the Hermes was actually pink and then he's sort of like 
half like glowing from the power up. But yeah, they do it really well. And I love how they have half of the limbs black, half translucent. It's clear that he has a black undersuit. The gold visor again is very well applied. And overall, there isn't the greatest amount to talk about with these figures because they don't have any printed detailing, but they're still, you know, I don't expect them to. They do exactly the job they were meant to do. And this gave a really high quality figure. So love this one. I need to collect more of the translucent, they half ACs. And the Hermes gravity hammer is an example of another one I can get my hands on. We've got this little power module, this power up piece, really cool. And we've got our weapons. Yes, this assault rifle does come with a bayonet again, which I really do appreciate. And it's a different colored bayonet to the SMG bayonet that we got before, which is also great. I said in my previous video, and I'll say it again, Halo 5 Guardians did some things wrong, but I do really enjoy all of the weapon customization, all of the different skins. You know, actually quite a lot about those games. Uh, the campaign is, is absolute trash. Throw the campaign away, but keep a lot of the uh, innovations with the weapons. All right, so this is the Vengeance Assault Rifle with a bayonet, and it does also come with a scope. So let's slide that on. And yes, I will make sure I'm sliding it on the right way because I always get criticized in the comments when I don't. The Vengeance Assault Rifle. Even though this Spartan doesn't have any paint apps, the set makes up for that with this assault rifle. It looks really nice. And actually, I've not noticed that many times in many sets, but this is bent. I actually don't blame Mega for that. That was probably me that bent that. I mentioned that these sets have actually come with me from England to Hong Kong and then Hong Kong to America. They've been on a real journey and they've been smashed and crashed and used as display props in the backgrounds of videos. Like they've gone on a real journey and I saved them for a week that I needed easy content. And here I am relying on them just as planned about a year and a half ago. This assault rifle has nice blue and yellow highlights. I don't think we've ever got a white assault rifle before. I mean, that's pretty dope. You can see those stripes are really well applied. I love these white gaps where you can see little lines running through. It's just a perfect 10 out of 10 application on this assault rifle. So bravo. We even have black accents on the end on the nozzle. So really nice. Then we've got what I have been excited about the most. This is probably going to be one of my favorite painted weapons going forward. The shark tooth magnum. Look at that. That's so dope. Those shark teeth are really well applied. Those red accents on the back as well. That white little application there. This is dope. This is dope. I love the shark. Oh, it's called shark tooth grin. Shark tooth grin. Really, really nice idea. I mean, mega, they, they just had so many options to choose from when they wanted to like add weapon variants to well these aren't weapon variants per se they're weapon skins but when mega wanted to make some they had a really large variety to choose from i'm happy they got at least one of these shark tooth magnums out it's really really dope really dope so she's got two painted weapons and they look phenomenal and then we also have this gold sniper rifle there isn't all that much to say about this but i enjoy that it is the halo 5 guardians design it's kind of Dope to collect these gold weapons. Yes, when we got a gold weapon, we substituted for a third painted weapon. Like, we did lose that. I still respect it. Like, I still see what they were going for. You know, sometimes it's very difficult to remember what year a lot of these sets even released and in what waves, but the gold brings them all together in a way that's never been seen before. Like, you can look across your collection and know that all of the gold weapons belong in the same line, the same wave of figures. So that's pretty dope. We can also position all three of these. That is a real good slinger vector there. Look at that. that that's actually pretty insane. I, I love that. Then we're going to add the clips into here exactly as the instruction manual tells us to. I guess the same as the other one. They want us to put them both on the same side. Oh, and I put them in the... No, okay. Put them in the wrong side. Come on. There we are. And then it recommends us to put the painted weapons inside. One assault rifle clipped in like so. And one shark tooth magnum. Shark tooth grin magnum. Yeah, look at that. Very, very stylish. Very, very cool. So we can clip that in. I love how this is designed, that this really snugly slides on top. Yeah, pops it in. This is dope. We've got two of these side by side. They look identical, except for the color on the transparent piece. But yeah, this slides off and it's it's really snug. It's really well designed. I have a lot of respect for this mold and this yellow stripe brings it all together, makes it pop very nicely. And that is our vector 
tactical power pack. I think after this video, I'm gonna take to eBay and see how many of these I can collect. I really love the whole aspect of these power packs. You get painted weapons, which is very, very rare for sets like this, especially the price point. These are only $8 each when they retail. They make a perfect pair and I just wanna collect more of them. <laughs> In the next two episodes, we're going to open the Spartan JFO armor pack and the Spartan Grenadier armor pack, each with many different accessories, many different armor pieces. And we're gonna use some of my favorite Spartans to customize the rest, the remaining armor pieces onto as many characters as possible. So please do join me for the next two days where I'm going to open these. This one is the 10th anniversary. This one is not. I don't know which one released first. I guess they both say 2019. So who knows? <laughs> I really don't know there, but I'm still really delighted with these. I wanna collect more of them. I don't know exactly how many are in the range, but there's quite a lot of them. So the hunt begins. Join me as I try and get as many of these as possible. Once again, I wanna thank you guys for the support on yesterday's video, for the support on my channel in general going forward into 2022. A lot seems uncertain in my life, but I know that you guys have my back 100%, and I am eternally grateful for that. So thank you very much for tuning in today. This was another video with The Domain. You stay awesome, you stay safe, folks, and the Hermes Power Pack is blasting off.